Good morning, or if anyone watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I've always told I had a voice radio, so today I'm going to be showing you all about a Salamence card. Now, to be perfectly honest, this Salamence card is not new per se. It was spoiled a while ago, and it has just been released as a part of a... A little set where you get the Salamence and you get the Mega Salamence and you get the... I mean, you can get a playmat in this set. It's pretty expensive. But the thing is, this card could be good. Now, a moment of, of reflection, so to speak. Because these are basically the Salamence and the Garchomp equivalent sets are coming out. These are basically the final EXs we're, we're ever going to have. The new Pokemon Sun and Moon set is going with GXs instead. EXs are on the way out. But this Salamence could be a a fitting end, so to speak. It could be a nice little swan song for EXs. Now, the second attack, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. It is not very good. Now, for a fire and a water and a double colourless, or to be honest, a double dragon, double colourless would be better. 130 damage, and you can't use Dragon Strike the following turn. If you're going to get a basic dragon type EX and put a double dragon and a double colorless, might I suggest Giratina. 100 and your opponent can't play special energy or stadiums or tools the following turn. It is better. But the first attack is where it's at. 10 damage for a fire double colorless is not good. 50 more damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon EX in play. Now we are talking. Your opponent has three Pokemon EX in play. You do 160. Add a Fighting Fury Belt goes up to 170. Your opponent gets four Pokemon EX in play. And you're going ahead and hitting 210. Or 220 with a Fighting Fury Belt. This is very, very good. Now there are a whole bunch of decks that are very reliant on EX Pokemon. Mega Gardevoir, entirely reliant on EX Pokemon. Gonna be honest, bad example, they're hitting for weakness anyway. But how about Giratina? Using Giratina to attack, using Hooper and Shaman to set up, they pretty much, now they might play a Garbodor or two, but other than that, Giratina is likely to be playing an entirely EX-based deck. And that's where you come in. Mega Mewtwo. Again, you're just looking at Mega Mewtwo with Hooper and Shaman to set up. Maybe a Garbodor as well to help you out. Rayquaza decks are very EX reliant and they set up using cards like Shaman, like Hooper, like Dragonite, etc. And to be honest, there's a whole bunch of decks nowadays that use Hooper and Shaman. Now, the problem is that not every deck is going to fall for this. This is very much a use it in some decks kind of tech but in some decks it becomes very very good indeed so for instance if you're playing against an eveltal deck well they can leave all the exes in you know in the deck in the hand in the discard etc and they can go ahead and just focus on using things like fright night eveltal to take you down now, there is one card you might wish to use here, Captivating Pokepuff. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying you should play this. I'm not saying this is an amazing card. I leave it out there as an option. It is very much up to you, ladies and gentlemen. However, there are some decks where I think this really could shine. Now, one deck that could potentially take advantage of this is Volcanion. Now, they're already playing Fire Energy. Now, I know that Salamence can use your whole Fire Energy and Double Colorless, but let's face it, you're not using Double Colorless in Volcanion. And you've got Noni X Volcanion that you can use to go ahead and just attach extra energy. But do you really want to be putting free energy on this bad boy? I'm not 100% convinced that you do. Sorry if that sounds mean, but I don't think it's the way you go. However, this could be a fun little one-off tech. Yes, I know you've got Volcano in EX. And yes, I know that Salamence is a dragon, not a fire. So Steam Up isn't going to work. But then again, if you're playing against a, an EX heavy deck... This might turn out to be your best attacker. I would recommend trying to chuck one of these in Volcanion, at least testing it. It might not work, but it might, ladies and gentlemen, it might be very good indeed. The other deck that I love this in, and this is not just my opinion, this has been played in Japan in this deck, and it has seen success in Japan in this deck. It is 
Giratina. Now, the thing about Giratina is that you need to play your double dragon and your double colorless, but to be honest, you can play one or two basic energy here. And this helps in a whole bunch of matchups. Now, a lot of Giratina decks play something like Lugia EX. Why do they play Lugia EX? So they can pile energy on, and in the late game, it can be their kind of final attacker, if you will. It can be the one you use to sweep at the end, take your final couple of prizes. Well, Salam can do that better because it's a double colorless and a fire energy not putting a whole bunch of double colorless on like you would need to do for Lugia and like I say it's only against some decks but against some decks this can absolutely wreck them if they go and put three or four Pokemon EX on the bench you can just go ahead and wreck their entire setup using one Salamence go and grab your last couple of prizes and that's where this comes in now, the other thing is, I've already said this is good against Giratina. So you play it in Giratina, and all of a sudden, the mirror match is working quite nicely for you. I don't think this is a deck in and of itself. I don't think this is going to be the next big deck. But I do think that there is absolutely a lot of potential here for going ahead and using this as a tech, maybe in Volcanian, definitely in Giratina, and quite possibly in other decks I haven't thought of yet. Let's face it. EXs are on the way out. I've told you this already. Salamence is one of the very last EXs. But as long as EXs are played, this is going to see some play. I've already told you I really like Incineroar. Link in the description. So you know what? Why don't you go ahead and play one of these in Incineroar? Maybe you end up with a fun little tech that wins the odd matchup. Maybe EXs go the way of the Dodo and or Fossil Pokemon, I suppose, is a better analogy. And you never end up using this. But it has seen play in Japan. It has seen success in Japan. This has been a card which has been in winning decks in big Japanese tournaments. So when I tell you this card is good and has a lot of potential, this isn't just me saying it. This is Japan. And are you going to argue with Japan? I'm not. Now, you know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. There is a comment section. There is a like button. There is a subscribe button. This is YouTube. It's 2016. You're clever people. You know how all of that works. You can follow me on Twitter, at the Wassy. The most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Maybe you, maybe you click a thumbnail. Maybe you've got Sun and Moon. You don't know which starter to pick. Maybe you click one of these thumbnails.